transmission. Wow. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. 745 right now. So the CDC says about one in six adults suffer from arthritis. Mm -hmm. Barbara Allen's pain was so intense that she was in a wheelchair for two and a half years. And now she rides 50 miles at a time to raise awareness for the mm -hmm. Arthritis Foundation. And Barbara is here with us this morning. How you doing? I am doing great. Yes. I am so and happy you, you to be doing You look great. great. You look yeah. great. Barbara, first of all, give us a, a, a quick um, a synopsis of your story and how you ended up at this point. Well, um, my pain was so intense it actually killed me. I went all the way into the light. and You actually died. I died. I didn't just see the light at the end of the tunnel. I merged with the light, and they told me after a little while I had to come back because there was a cure for arthritis, and once I found it, I had to share that. And you were diagnosed with arthritis by doctors. Yes. And you died because the pain was so intense for you. Right. Right. Okay, so what started you on this journey, and what have you learned? What got you out of that wheelchair? Well, for four and a half years, I researched everything in the medical literature, and it wasn't helping, so I started looking for more general cures. Okay. Um, and the first thing that really mattered to me was discovering that I had delayed chemical sensitivities and food sensitivities, mm -hmm. and that I could not trust food labels. So that's why I want to talk about the three crippling hazards that can be legally left off food labels. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. So the first one is the excipient law. So this table salt, if you look carefully on the label, has lots of things that aren't salt. Those right. are all excipients. Yeah. Excipients. Yeah. Okay. So if I had even the tiniest trace of table salt, one of those excipients would put me in so much pain I couldn't get in out of bed for days. Oh my gosh. So okay. Anything with table salt was a no-no for me. Okay. So if you want, if you have that particular problem, and not mm -hmm. everyone does, everybody has to figure out their own triggers. Right. But you can use kosher salt. Right. No excipients. Um, you can use sea salt. You can use um, mined, unrefined salt. Okay. So then the next hidden hazard, now I love beans. Right. But there's something called a standard ingredients law. And so if it's a standard ingredient, you don't have to put it on the label. Salt's a standard ingredient yes, in almost it is. everything. So yep. even if it's not on the label, I couldn't eat it if it was processed. Wow. Okay. In addition, there are things like food dyes. About, I don't know, 50% of my clients are in excruciating pain if they accidentally get food dyes. And if it's a standard ingredient, you're never going to see it on the label. Yeah. Now we're, we're almost uh, out of time. Yeah. Uh, Barbara, tell so, us about this last one. So the final one is, um, about a third of my clients can't do pesticide residues, so right. glycosate or um, dethomextrin. So all natural means nothing. Right. You know, you're still going to get sick. You have to go organic. L organic has a legal meaning, which means they can't use pesticides. Okay. How can folks get more information? Because we're hearing more and more about the GMOs and how people are suffering from gluten. A lot of folks here at Fox 5 have gone on a gluten-free diet because mm -hmm. it really hurts, it, you know, and they see the difference. So how do we get more information? Go to my my website, conqueringarthritis.com, I talk about a blood test so that if you eliminate gluten but you have other triggers, you'll still stay sick, so you have to catch all of them. Right. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you so much for this information. Um, I know there's a big trend going on. People are really paying attention to their food nowadays. Yeah.